Hi guys, uh, let's now walk through the process of setting up the iPad mini. So let's go ahead and start up the iPad mini. It should be no different than any other iOS device, so I won't have any surprises there. So I'll press and hold the power button. We should see the Apple logo come up, which it did, and we'll let it go through the startup. Once it starts up, uh, what we'll do is, in subsequent videos, we'll compare this to the other iPads. So we'll compare it to an iPad 1, uh, the iPad 2, the iPad 3. I don't have a fourth generation yet, that should be coming shortly. And we'll also compare it to other 7-inch type tablets uh, that are within this family. If you notice, again, very standard to, to the iPads. So we'll go through the little introduction and setting it for English. Uh, United States. And it's going to try to connect to the internet. Let me pause the video while I do that. All right, so I've connected it to my network. The, the iPad mini came with 73% battery charge, which is great. It, it, you can play with the device and you don't have to worry about first charging it. What I'll do is enable location services. I'm okay with that. Hit next. Um, I will set this up as a new iPad. And uh, if you choose to restore from a backup from iTunes and you had another iPad, it would take the attributes, the applications that are installed in that iPad, and then automatically add it to this. I'm just going to set it up as new. And the next step is to sign in with your Apple ID. Let me go ahead and do that. All right, so I've inputted my Apple ID. Terms and conditions come up. I agree. I'll say I agree again. And now what will happen is it'll just go through and um, register this iPad mini to my Apple ID. Uh, I'm not going to use the cloud. Right, so now what I'll do is I will, there's another part, I went ahead and registered the iPad um, contact point. So that's one piece that I had already done. Uh, so it asks you which email do you want to use for, you know, as you're doing FaceTime. Now what I'm going to do is say, sure, go ahead and use Siri. Uh, do I want to send information to improve the product, uh, diagnostic information? I'm just going to say, nah, I'm not going to do that. And do I want to register with Apple? Um, and I'm going to say, sure. And now I'm ready to start using the iPad. So I'll hit start. And now everything is set up. If we take a look at, at the iPad now, uh, the experience is not going to surprise anyone as it's just like... Um, any other iPad. Uh, not a lot of bloatware, so all I have are the icons that you see here on the screen. I have to install some of the applications. But it's just like your iPad except a lot smaller. Um, as you also saw by maybe some of the videos uh, that are out there on the internet, the specs for this device are similar to that of the iPad 2. And as I look at the screen, uh, iPad with the retina display, which means it just has higher quality screen versus uh, or display versus this, I can't say that it's that noticeable, and I can't say that it's something that would deter you from buying this. If you want something this small and you're tied to Apple uh, ecosystem, you bought all your music, all your movies, everything comes from them, and you want something that's very portable, uh, and, and you can afford it, I guess this is an app for you or, or a tablet for you. But we'll do more comparisons, speed comparisons. We'll also compare it, as I said, to the Nexus 7 in subsequent videos.